jump up there and take a peek at the wing in more detail. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the changes in this wings and some of the stuff that they've done to it. Obviously, they went to a G-series flap. So these are more like a Fowler flaps. We got gap seals here. So, you know, these will slide up in there. Um, we can come down to 35 degrees on these. And then, we, of course, we got the G-series uh, ailerons here as well. Now, we're going to show you a little bit more about the fact that these are all push rods in the X-Cub. So there's no cables and stuff going through it. You can see in there that we've got an actual push rod that's, that's moving that. So these G-series make a huge difference. When I feel the FX3 and we're flying, it's a little harder. Now, these, it's about 30% softer and easier to fly with these new series flaps and ailerons. These are awesome. So obviously these are aluminum on the flaps and ailerons and fabric on the wings. So we got aluminum struts that are going on in, in here. Then you got fabric on the wings, it's the poly fiber. So we got poly brush going on here, uh, poly spray on top of that. And then they go with a urethane paint over that. Now you can't see it on the camera, but the paint is beautiful, iridescent. They do just an incredible job on it. You know, these are the wings, these are a little different style. Of course, you can see the VG kit across the whole wing. So it gets us that little extra uh, useful load and things like that. Now, this plane has 50 gallons of fuel. We have two tanks, one here, one on the other side. Now you can see we've got the fabric here, and then this section is the hard section that actually covers the tanks that are underneath here. All right, so back up on the other side of the wing, let's talk a little bit about what we got going on. So of course we got the full skylight, which is great, but in the Florida sun, sometimes it can be tough, but we actually have these shades that we're gonna talk about a little bit more. And if you go check out our accessories, we talk about the company that makes these shades and it goes all the way down the whole the whole backside and then we're about to replace these with the jet shades so if you go to jet-shades.com they make a see-through shade for here so these are going to come out because you, you can't see through these when you're flying my face is literally looking right through here so these are going to come out we're going to put the jet shades in here and then of course we got the four vents now these vents we can turn them and direct the wind down in there now Obviously when it's raining, these aren't that great. They do leak. Uh, that's one thing to keep in mind. And if you're gonna keep it outside, which we don't, but if you're in a rainy area, you're keeping outside, you gotta do something like a cover, like a Bruce's custom covers we have for this. Uh, we can get on there. Now I wanna talk about, here's the, the VG kit that we talked about. Now the leading edges are actually the aluminum. So they're not fabric. And then of course we just talked about the tanks that are here. Now fueling this plane is a pain. It's harder because you have to be careful. You don't want anything hitting here. I typically don't let the line crews fuel this plane. I have them hand me the hose. I have them hold it off the plane and then I fuel it. I'm not a tall guy, so it's a lot harder for me to actually see up inside here when I'm fueling it and stuff. But it is one of the things that's been tough on this plane. It's easy for some reason on the FX3. I guess it's the way that it's, you know, formatted versus the floats, the amphibs here. But this is uh, the whole wing section, the two tanks we talked about. Let's go on to the next section and take a look at the struts.